You want to do an Insecure Podcast on Monday? Okay. Aldo Nice presents. Welcome to the Men's Secure Podcast. He distracted me with his fine ass face, but I'm going to tell him, shut the fuck up. I don't want your conversation. Like, I almost wanted to call Issa after I watched the episode and say, hey, look, I got out of here. Yeah, I thought about it. I've been thinking about you, but you're married. What you going to talk to? You're going to be like, oh, that's just your friend on the couch? You know what I'm saying? Laying down. I don't know about it. Part of the Best Friend Weekend Podcast Network. How many of these do you usually use? Not 12. Do you think you need that many? Because I have a card don't. You need to upgrade your ship. I see I care about that. The girl got you on the path and everything. It's just a friend's giving. Calm down. Everybody knows not to miss a condola joint. She's party spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> we eat it, so wait, it's an hour, though. You still going to Molly's? Yeah, I'll just text her on the be like, what's your new man look like? Ma, is he cool? Yeah. What y'all doing? Checking out Molly's new guy. Let me see. Is he crazy and rich? Oh, 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 oh shit. I say, whoa, welcome to the Men Secure Podcast. It's your man out, though. Nice. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C.A.P. Hey, Los. What's happening, man? Low-key, I'm thankful for friendship, man. I'm low-key thankful, man. Hey, I'm happy, thanks. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's what we're about to talk about. Episode three of season four of Insecure, Loki Thankful. So, um, look, it was a different episode. It moved, it moved some things along. Let me ask you, overall thoughts. Was it a good, bad episode? What you think about it, Los? Um, yeah, I think it was a good episode. Uh, we got to see Lawrence on his grind. I think you know they start moving the needle along with the episode. Episode uh, start moving stuff. You know a lot faster and gave us a bunch of different and good content this time. I think last episode was kind of setting up for this one. But yeah, for, for my overall thoughts, it was a, it was a good episode. So yeah, I just talked to um, Rumble. We were having a discussion about just life in general. We was running it. And um, he brought up Men Secure and he was like, you know, I've never watched one episode of that show. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it's a pretty good show. I was like, obviously we do a podcast on it. So obviously we think it's a, um, it's a show worth watching. And he was like, is it like just women's stuff? Is it whatever? And I was like, well, mostly it's women's stuff. Mostly it's from the perspective of the other of women um, stars, but they do get you into the men's um, realm here or there. Mm-hmm. Do you look at yourself? I mean, because I'm, I'm just kind of speaking from the past couple of podcasts that we have done on this. It seems that you always gravitate towards those four minutes, three minutes out of the episode when they sitting around talking to the guys. Do you find that those are always your favorite parts of the show? Uh, I guess sometimes. It just depends on what they're talking about. I just like, I guess for me, I like the fact that they are trying to, you know, give a little bit more uh, guy perspective and all of those things. I guess some, maybe a lot of those girl things I, I can't relate to, so I might not gravitate, gravitate to it as well. But uh, for me, I think sometimes when, you know, the fellas keep sitting around kicking it, you know, I can kind of, I can kind of feel them in those moments. I'm, I, you know, whether I've been there or been a part of those moments before, I kind of, I guess I kind of, you know, I feel them more than I do than when girls sitting around being messy. So I think that that's interesting. Like when we did the first two episodes, I've, I've actually spoken that a few times that the person, your favorite person of the week each time has been a guy. Like you find, mm-hmm. even if it's an obscure guy who only talked for a minute on the pod, on the, on the, um, on the episode, you're like, oh, that was my favorite person of the week. That was my mm-hmm. favorite person of the week. And I, and, it wasn't the same thing for me because I think I'm looking at the plot of the story. I think I look at the story as a whole and like who's doing the the things that's like who's doing being right and who's yeah. being wrong. Like who's over there wronging other people or being catty or being difficult or being a, a hater or whatever it is. And I don't like them. But if somebody just kind of living their life and doing their thing and trying to be great, I always kind of look at that. And I, it's a little um, it's not as as tied to gender. I do like the male parts. I do like when they go to, I pause. I do like the, uh, <laughs> no, don't pause it. Go ahead. I do like the episode, <laughs> the parts of the episode when, uh, when the guys is running it, because yeah, like I said, a lot of times we, we can step back and say, damn, what would I do in that situation or mm. whatever it is. Uh, um, so one of the first things, the guy parts of this episode was when Lawrence was in there, he walked into the little coffee shop or whatever it is. And he ran into his ex while he with his new chick, man. Have you ever yeah. done that? Have you ever walked into a spot with, like your new chick and you seen your ex? Oh no, nah, that never happened to me before. I never. <laughs> thank God. I, I was thinking, ooh, and then when they started talking, I was like, ooh, he keeping it. I said, maybe she's not with him. But then when she walked yeah, up, yeah, maybe he didn't they, know what he was exactly <laughs> like. He didn't know he was coming to meet his chick. 
Yeah, <laughs> I was like, why he? I said, he over there, over there laughing, going back and forth a little funny. Like, man, that's a high and by situation when you're with your chick. Yeah, right? And, oh, uh, awesome. Ooh. <laughs> you don't even call it like, ooh, let me go outside. Ooh. And how about we go somewhere else, babe? Yeah, um, hey, so, likewise, you, I've never mm-hmm. been in that situation either. And I think it's, people always say, oh, LA is so small. Houston is enormous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Houston is enormous. I've never been in that situation where, um, it is barely even that situation where I'm on a date and I see somebody I used to date. That's like mm-hmm. very seldom. We don't see that doesn't happen. Yeah, I, that often. Yeah, I hardly ever run into my exes. <laughs> yeah, period. Like just not even while you with somebody else. No, just, just by running myself. Into yeah. A period. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I think it's a little different with them because. Like Lawrence and Issa, they run in the same circle. You could tell at the end of the episode, like he was looking through his um his damn Snapchat. Instagram stories. Oh, or was it his? Yeah, one of them. I don't know. It, it was I, I, it was everybody. Yeah, that was like Issa friends. I'm like all of them got the same exact friends. That's yeah. tough. That's a that's tough. different. Yeah, the with, the different. one girl and the pregnant one and her dude. I guess is maybe the the connecting tissue that keep gobble everybody dick, together. Gobble the dick, gobble the dick. But still, he over there like following big girl too, and he fo- like he follows her friends yeah. on social media. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it? Are you supposed to not follow her friends no more after that relationship's over? Mm. I, just, I guess it depends. I don't know. I it just I guess it depends. They being messy or catty about some stuff, and you know, throwing little jabs or whatever. Or they they just they just got, they just follow you just to be messy. Yeah, you unfollow them. But if they if they cool, y'all was cool or whatever. I don't see no harm in that. Well, I got a solution. I usually don't follow them in the, to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. therefore, that you don't have to easier. unfollow. You don't have to unfollow people you never yeah. followed. So Big facts. maybe whatever. But once again, we used the term "dangerous" last week. It's we we know where this is going. Yeah, we know where this is going. Well, I they mean, setting up to go that way for sure. Yeah, I mean, they setting it up for them to at least. I mean, nobody's saying nothing about them getting back together, but they're no. going to link up in oh, some yeah. kind of form or fashion. It's it's, it's going to be a decision that has to be made. Oh, yeah. It's going to be some kind of wild. And so, especially with him and, uh, you know, whatever, when they had the Thanksgiving, the Friendsgiving party at her house, mm-hmm. and the little, the little drunk friend whispers, you know, oh, I'm glad she's just having some, having some fun, just letting it loose. And, you know, and Lauren felt some kind of way about that, and he asked her, and then they went into the whole ex thing, you know, the exes and all that, you know. I think, you know, that, that kind of, maybe, I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, whatever that, that, that lady put in his head, that might linger around and have him doing stuff like, you know, sending a little DM with the Laffy Daddies. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, so she kind of called him a, a male, like, fuck buddy to a extent. Have you ever yeah. been in that position where you feel like you, that's what you were for a woman? Oh, no, I knew I was uh, when I was in that position. I knew I was, and I was cool with it. Were well, you ever in that position where you thought that you wanted more with the girl? Oh, no, I, I never took that up before. Are you just saying that because you know that that's not going to reflect nicely on you, or are you saying that because you really know that? No, I don't care if it didn't or not, it did not. But, um, I mean, it's real easy to say that. No, that's, no. That's, no I'm I mean, just everybody saying, would it, say that. And it don't matter if, to me. If, I, if I, I, I don't care, nigga. I'm old but, enough to, if I took an L, I can say I took an L. I'm not, say, I'm not asking you if you took an L. I think I want you to hear the question I'm asking. The question I'm asking, were, was you ever in a position that you liked the chick and you was like, oh, I could see something, and she just saw it as an F buddy? And if you said no, then that's cool. But I'm my follow-up no. question was just that, or would you admit that if it was a thing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Of course. I don't have a problem. Like I said, if I took an L like that, I wouldn't have no problem saying it. Yeah. But so, I mean... I don't. I don't think that I've ever been in that position either, where I was like, "Oh, I really want to be with someone." Well, if you was in that position, would, already, you, would you say that? Would you say you have been in that position if you were in that position? Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> absolutely. I mean, absolutely. The, but the thing is, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Boy, you be killing it. But the um, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to east of this nigga in a second. I'm about to Molly him. <laughs> nah, but um. In reality, no. It's a it's a thing that I think men don't go through that that often because a lot of times, if you're a guy who's a quote unquote good guy, you're going to women like you in a certain type of way, and it mm-hmm. does. It's, it's tough when you're already in that position where y'all are physically intimate and being around each other a lot. Mm-hmm. It's that's that that would have to be a difficult position to be like, oh, I'm really feeling her, and she don't really want the same things I want. Not yeah. to say that that's not what she really wants, but she mm-hmm. did. 
go ahead on and start the conversation by saying, um, I didn't invite you, you invited yeah. yourself. Yeah. Which is he that was that was big. That was big. That was next level. But I mean, I, I felt that way when he said, Oh, okay, um, I'll come. Like when he said that, I'm like, damn, she didn't even say, Hey, you wanna come. As soon as he said it, I was like, I, I've never been that guy to invite myself over nowhere like that. So I didn't think that me. that's what was going on. I mean, honestly, what I thought was, and I would have probably, if I was his thing, I would have thought that, oh, Issa might be there. That might be why she don't want me to come. Oh, well, see, I, I just... That's, I, that's the first thing I thought. I, I didn't even think that far into it. I just like, oh, she ain't invite that man. So she don't want that man there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, mean, I didn't think about you know, the reasons. All. I just, oh, she didn't. And he said, oh, I'll come. Okay. What time? You know what I mean? Like, he just invited. I was like, oh, he... That boy brave because she could have said right well, now. Who asked it's, you? Um, I think it's, I think part of it is that it's a it's a television show, right? So yeah. we look at it in the in the um, in the the viewpoint of Issa as being the star of the show. Mm. So you think that most storylines are some kind of way revolving around her interaction. So I suppose that's mm-hmm. why I okay. kind of I kind of had her on the brain when I was saying that. that. They, and it had and it was a scene after they ran into her at the. Mm. Um, out and whatever so i was yeah. thinking that possibly those things had something to do with each other but you're right if we're just thinking about lawrence as an individual indiv- like person who has nothing to do with Issa, mm-hmm. then i think i would have looked at that whole conversation through a different light i think i would have agreed with you and been like oh yeah that boy being bold yeah <laughs> well me i kind of look at everybody bold. individually i mean i think lawrence is just as big a part of this show than as Issa. so i look at it mm-hmm. like that as well so i mean i guess it's probably why i didn't even think about Issa in that one like damn that boy that wow first thing i mm-hmm. said oh he wow <laughs> yeah, I mean, a woman ever did that to you? Hey, uh, oh, what you doing for this for whatever? Oh, I could come. Oh no, nah, they sound. Oh, okay, what time? I, I definitely. <laughs> and then I have to be the bubble. Like, no, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't <laughs> think that's that's not for us to yeah, do together. Not a good idea. Definitely. Do I, uh, I mean, it's a different thing. I mean, they had their little friends giving and did everything, but. She, Issa, Issa kind of really did like tugged at your little heartstrings when she said um, that old girl is reaping all the benefits of his time with Issa. I got that circle. I got that circle. <laughs> um, <clears throat> which it really it, it it makes sense though. Like you know, Issa went through the hard part with that boy, and then, you know, right when you know she couldn't take it no more, um, you know, he he came up. He started doing everything he you know was supposed to be doing and doing what she been the guy she you know been looking for. And I believe it's a whole lot of women out here that go through that same thing. You know what I mean? I don't know if men go through that as much as women do, but I'm sure it's some women who had, this, you know, caught us when we were struggling, not doing that, you know, on our ass a little bit. And, you know, when she let us go, the other girl came through and got out everything he wanted from us. You know, she getting, I mean, I can see why that would be a little disheartening and, and have you in your feelings a little bit. Yeah, I don't think Issa has a place to say that because uh, she cheated on him. So had True. had Lawrence left her, then yeah, she could she could run that argument. I don't think she really can say any of that because you know she definitely was being she, a no she, good two time. Yeah, she was she was being no she was she was out checked out of the well she, I don't know if she was checked out of the relationship, but she her decisions led to their mm-hmm. relationship being over. So she, she I mean she could say that, but you know feel however you want to feel, but no, I'm not feeling sorry for you in that way. I mean, shit, I just it have is what it is. I'm saying a lot of women go through. That. <laughs> the other woman said, um, she said, if y'all hadn't cheated, would y'all still been together? That's what Condola said. That was another thing that I was like, ooh, mm. that's a hell of a question to, um, to ask somebody. I think that that, that almost was my woman from Venus moment of the that, week. That, cause that I, was mine. That was mine. Okay. I had two. Why do women always think somebody coming for them? And, uh, when her and Molly, you said Molly was going back and forth in the, uh, in the grocery store throwing insults for absolutely no reason. Women, I feel like women, you having that going a lot. And uh, yeah, I said, don't, you know, why would you, don't ask a question you really don't want to answer to. Because I think women do that a lot too, where in my experience, they ask the question, they don't really, we don't want to know the real answer to this question. Because he said, hell yeah, I'd have still been with her. Now what you going to do, break up with him? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, so, you know, I just, like women, I think women ask those questions. They really, really don't want to know the answer to, especially if it didn't lean that way. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's a, I think that that's valid. On um, the other one, I don't know how valid it is. I think that guys argue just as much and throw insults at each other and whatever and try to one up each other with the arguments. Um, if you want an example, I, you guys can rewind back to six minutes into this podcast. Where <laughs> just had that so I mean, I don't think that's necessarily. Well, a I didn't know. I, I, I think that's, I don't take it thing. personal. Like they was really, they took it. Like they took yeah. it to a point where they well, we need to go have a talk. 
Well, honestly, that was my thing that I'm looking forward to next week. The the further deterioration yeah. of, of Molly and Issa. Like, I think that yeah. that shit is going to keep going off and away. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is exactly what that conversation said. Um, Molly said, don't bring Andrew. You don't want to pull up, pull out the old Molly yeah. and scare him away. Right. And then Molly mm-hmm. responded with, you acting like everything was cool with uh, Lawrence and Condola. And she said, glad, glad your little troopal is a success. Yeah. And then Issa said, bitch, you was just in a trooper with Dro yesterday. Mm-hmm. And then Molly said, well, at least I wasn't fucking for free weed and toiletries. Yep. So, like, Molly kept, like, he, Molly escalated it, but Issa started it. So, yes. she started with the passive aggressive, um, you know, like, you don't want to keep doing that, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it ended with them with those texts going back and forth. So, I think that, you know, they're definitely setting it up to be. In real life, what happens? Sometimes yeah. friends, people, whatever. Specifically, I think it happens with women more, but it can happen with guys too. Sometimes you just be like, man, I'm cool on your energy. And I don't think neither one of them is wrong per se. I think mm-hmm. Molly can be perfectly fine saying, Issa, I don't like your energy. Mm-hmm. I got this dude I'm hollering at. Let me see how, what this ha- what we're going with this. And I'm just not yes. going to spend as much time with you. And I'm just going to worry about what I'm going. And Issa mm-hmm. could do the same thing. I'm planning this block party. Look, I I don't have time to be with the the negative energy. I got to talk to Condola for it. I need to have yeah. some time and space to do that without being judged. Let me do that. So mm-hmm. I think neither one of them are bad. I just think that this is that's something that I'm I'm you know looking forward to seeing because yeah, I think I that's what's going to keep happening. I want to hear talk. I want to see what's going to happen with um, Lawrence and Condola. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what what's the what's the how y'all going to fix this or where do y'all go from there? Because I'm I know he feel he feeling some kind of way. You know, obviously because he brought it up. And, you know, now she feels some kind of way about walking up on him and Issa Kiki and mm-hmm. shit. So, um, I just think that I, I really am excited to see that. And I want to, um, I'm really trying to figure out when they're going to find Toyota, the, the little girl, not the car. <laughs> um, that's really my biggest thing. I really want to find when, when they're going to find Toyota. I like that. That's, I like that type of stuff. Mother. That makes me happy. Uh, uh, shit. But going back, I'll tell you my woman, Venus woman of the week is, is the idea that, <sighs> I don't think men have a tendency to complain about their... Well, I'm, I'm oh, this is tough because I could be wrong too. I don't think this might not be a man thing. It just might be men I know. Men don't have a tendency to complain about their jobs to the woman they with. Like Lawrence didn't complain about like what was going on in his job. But I yeah. think women do that, Like right? And at the beginning, it was almost like Lawrence had that feel like, look, my chick doing big things and it makes him want to step his game up. And I think that that's a lot of times how men handle it. Or they might handle it like his homeboy to keep up appearances for, for his bitching for other bitches by buying that range. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> men handle it differently, but I don't think I don't think the, the way we handle it is by complaining to women about or the significant other woman about how I feel about my job. And I think women do it a lot more. Like, I hate this part about my job. Let me tell you about this bitch at my job. Let me tell you. Mm. Like, men might complain, like, talk about things that happen, but it's usually not in a, damn, I want to quit this motherfucker. I hate these people as oh, much. Yeah, I, I done definitely came home when I was uh, talking to somebody and be like, man, I'm tired. I'm sick of this shit. I definitely <laughs> did that. Uh, but I think with Lawrence's case, maybe he don't feel like he can complain because he feel like he, you know, he, he got to step his game up. So him complaining about his job might have her looking at him some kind of way. You know what I mean? Maybe that might be it. I don't know. But you know, I've definitely complained about my job uh, to whoever I was talking to before. So. Okay, so just so Alan is from uh, Mars and women in Los are from Venus. <laughs> because, you know, I guess that's that's what we're going to go with that. But so you tell actually me, like Issa your job, tripping, though. That's the difference. Issa be um, tripping moment of the week. What you got there? Oh, I had already kind of touched on it a little bit, uh, how she felt like Condola. Is reaping the benefits of everything. You know, she thinks she kind of laid the ground and groomed Lawrence to be the guy he is mm. today. But I mean, I, I I think it's more, I think women do go through that, but I think they got to realize too, they, maybe that dude, period, wasn't the guy for you. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, she was like, oh, well, he, you know, I'm sure uh, he's paying for the food that she, you know, they, they about to go eat and all of that, that those type of things. I mean, the thing about it is, if you, if you thought that so highly, I mean, she'd have stayed your ass in there and toughed it out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't don't get mad because this other lady came through and recognized talent than you. So, <laughs> but no, nah, that's that was my only one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I one hundred percent agree. I mean, from what we said earlier, I agree that she was tripping. That is that is a valid Issa be tripping because I think she had no place to be tripping about that. But the one I wrote down was, I think her and her brother that conversation they had at the end. Um, 
it was kind of that idea of should you be a good person or should you do you? Mm-hmm. Um, like, should she have stayed by her stepdad people or should they oh. have went to the Mexican restaurant on Thanksgiving Day? And I just think that that was like that you tripping for that type of things. I think I think we come from and this is this. We don't have to talk about men and women gender roles here. We can just talk about who the type of people that I usually hang around with. Mm-hmm. And the majority of the people that I hang with, family is a very important yeah. thing. Yeah. So you don't really stick family. Like when they, they were already at that house. Yeah. Like you go in there and say yeah. hi. If you got to have an excuse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You go you go sit out. You might not eat. Yeah. You might say, oh, we're going to my friend later. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, whatever it is. Go, I'm going to go to my family house if I'm in town. Even when even when mom when the mama texted him and said like oh it was it meant a bunch for me to for y'all to go there man y'all get y'all ass back in the car and go over hey, there now yeah it's your family hey man. we we got caught up we got in some traffic he had a flat come yeah. up with Anything. some kind of excuse but go back over there and say yeah we just wanted to come kick it for a minute blah blah yeah. blah we're just passing through but you don't want to make your make your parents or your family your mother upset because you don't want to that that's you don't like adult yeah. twins. Yeah, that was the funniest thing. But did we say that on? Wasn't that a thing that burned my Buddha a couple weeks yeah. ago? Twins, adult twins. Adult twins? <laughs> yeah, I don't trust them. After, after, the same so thing. after after tw- after fifteen years old, you can't be twins no more. You got to figure no, out something. Man, else. Y'all got One of y'all got to get a fro. One of y'all got to get the braids or get a, a bob. Some bunch of face one of y'all got to get fat. Some, some got to have. <laughs> No, but that was, I definitely wrote that down. I don't fuck with adult twins. I thought that that was I thought that that was hilarious. Yeah. Um, so man, listen, let's get to it, man. Who is your favorite person of the week you, for you this know, week? Uh, it was funny when you started talking about who I was picking. Uh, when I wrote it down earlier, I was like, he gonna really be surprised by this because I normally ever I never never pick this person. But I was thinking Molly Molly might be my my person of the week this week. Um, just off the fact you know her growth from last week with uh Timmy Chan. And um, you know, you know, she finally started to seem like she's uh trying to trying to come around with a with her bro- with her father. You know, she was beefing with him and she kinda listened to her brother this week and you know, you live, you know, you tell Molly something, she'd go the, the complete opposite way. But she kinda listened to him and, and, and was thankful for it. I like the title says thankful for her family. Like, you know, okay, let me just enjoy my family instead of sitting here being bitter, you know, hmm. about what my dad did. And like his brother made a great point. He was like, Hey, you made this man, I'm a good you ain't looking at the fact that that man came back, made it right, and fixed it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're just looking at what he did. So, and she took that, you know, she took it in. And I like how she cooked this. So she brought him some cake and pie, and they continued to play the game. You know, um, I, 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 I was rocking with Molly this week. Um, you know, and then in a lot, some of her little insults at Issa was way better than Issa insults. Uh, that's probably not a good reason to pick somebody, but I definitely liked them. But yeah, <laughs> Molly was my person. Well, along the same vein, my favorite person of the week was Molly's brother. <laughs> and, and it and it was everything you just said. I don't have to um, re-express those. Ed expresses. It's his eyes. No, like, his that eyes nigga pop out. Strong yeah, face. His, his eyes strong. already out, so he don't really got to do a lot to make you think he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he brought it full circle <laughs> about adults being people too. It's something that as we grow up, we we Nick, start yeah. to understand even more and more. That your mother is a person, your father is a mm-hmm. person, that all the new teachers were people. And just like we went to school with, oh yeah. man, that thing I thought, oh man, that bitch crazy. Oh, that, that nigga, that nigga is a clown. Yeah. That boy is dumb yeah. as hell. Adults are that way too. It's just, we yeah. don't see them that way as, as, as youth. We always are, grew up in a respectful way. Mm-hmm. And I don't think, I think that might have been the first time Molly had that experience where she was able to see her dad as, that's a guy. That's just a nigga mm-hmm. who made a mistake and he, and he fixed it. Like, what are yeah. you doing right now? Why are you being mad at him because you his kid? Mm-hmm. And I think that him saying that made him my person of the week because it's something that we don't always do. Same thing with kids. People don't think of children as people. Children are people. You know what I mean? Some they're little they're people, and sometimes they don't know who they want to be and, yet. And, yeah. But they're their own. They're their mm-hmm. own thing. That yeah. they're gonna be what they're gonna be. Absolutely. They have their own personality. They have their own way of looking at life. They have their own views on life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They, you know, have their own I heard morals, somebody say you know that when you have so, a kid, yeah, you expect I mean, I them to be a little clone of you. Then they come out and they like doing their own thing. And you're like, oh, shit. Okay. You your own little person. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, my, my daughter has some things in me, but some stuff is like, okay. Thank that's, just, that's, just, that's just you. Thing, <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> that's just you. That's just 
Thank God. Huh? That's just a you thing right there. But yeah, I definitely agree. He, he really was spending some real stuff. I remember, um, I guess to get a little personal, my father and my, my mother uh, mm-hmm. divorced when I was like fourth grade. And you know, you hear your aunts in there talking crazy about your dad. Oh, he do. I remember he had this and doing it. And I was, you know, I was a daddy's boy. So I was like, oh, hell no. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't, so I got hot. I mean, uh, going off on my aunt fourth grade in that thing on my soap. I put two soapbox mm-hmm. on top of each other stood on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm adding everybody business out of there. <laughs> wow. He should. My daddy found out and told my ass up, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he said, look here, son. I don't need you to defend me. I made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I did, I did something I was supposed to do. We went fishing. And, you know? And I kind of realized, like, damn, you know, my daddy normal. You know what I'm saying? I think we hold him up so high. You and your daddy went fishing so in the, high when you were a kid. And the little thing like on Boys in the Hood. <laughs> where, the, where the babies come from? You stick <laughs> no. And nine months later, a baby come out. They <laughs> <laughs> baby pop out. Nah, nah. We, you know, he had, a, he had a boat. We was in the middle of the lake. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but nah, you know, uh, just explain to me, you know, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a man, I make mistakes. And that's when I kind of realized that, okay, he normal. And, you know, I forgave him. And, you know, I was mad at my mama a little bit. But uh, I thought she should have forgave him too. But you know, move past that. But yeah, you hold your parents up to a higher standard. You know, especially when you're a child, you think you know, hey, they don't do stupid stuff like that. But you realize quickly when you get older. Oh yes, they do. Molly was was thinking about bringing her dude there, and Issa said, "Don't." Like, how long does it take for you to bring somebody to a family event like Thanksgiving or something like that? How long have they, oh. should they have been dating? Well, you know, I'm a slow roller. Uh, <laughs> it, it take me a while before I bring. I got I got to take y'all with Louisiana, and you got to stay there and all that. Um, you know, you might I might get an introduction. Maybe <laughs> that six. is so funny. <laughs> For real? Uh, I no, might. I mean that is the that is the determining factor. If it's in town, you can meet people a lot sooner. You yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So <laughs> um, you might you might not go to Louisiana. You know, go to my mama's house. Shoot, I don't know. Maybe about eight months. Maybe eight nine months. Mm-hmm. Something like that to a year. Uh, just depends. Uh, my mom, my mom's in town. We've been talking maybe six months or so. I give you a little brief. Hey, what's up? You know what I mean? Like a little quick little dinner. You know what I mean? Little lunch. You know what I'm saying? Just to, so she can feel you out. But uh, you know, I'm not with the oh, you gonna spend the whole day with my mama. You know what I mean? I just <laughs> my mama, my mama not that friendly anyway. You know, so that part. <laughs> my mama not that friendly. So yeah, you know, she don't come out for all that. But yeah, it's about you know, if we in town six months, a little brief. You know, a little hiding vibe. We got going out of time. We talking about nine to a year, probably nine months to a year. So, I think I think those those times are pretty agreeable. I think they're pretty on brand with with kind of how most of us move in regards to the time that um, we put these things together. So, yeah, that makes sense to me. I'm not going to disagree. Can I ask you a question? Is it, is it a different between your mom and your daddy? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Just I, I, my daddy, my daddy meet can meet chicks whenever. Like, yeah, like my daddy. Right? <laughs> yeah, don't. Oh, I never did right, care. I never. Man, he don't care. He don't care, and he gonna ask me about it all the time. He gonna bring it up again. Like, ah, oh, yeah. man, what happened to old, that old one? All old the woman time that was over here. That boy, that thing that walked through the door. Boy, Carlos, where did go with them hips? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole nine. So yeah, that's it's a big difference. Your mom. I guess when we say bring them to your family, you mean your mom yeah, and your aunts. That's, that's what all you mean. That's all I meant. Really, to my mom, my aunts, they 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 wild. Them boys, them boys brought them hoes to the house though. They had. So what was they mad about? Her little shoes? Oh, uh, because they were some thoughts. Why was they looking at them crazy? Oh, because they were some thoughts. They had them little. They had them little. Uh, <laughs> them little glad. Them little. Them little cheap glass slippers. Lace, them lace daddy. Um, string daddy. Yeah, um, them slippers. Them little. Do you want to dance, daddy's on? <laughs> Them little come down the pole and stomp and stomp real loud when you hit the stage. Them little, do, them little, do you got a credit card? I swipe my booties off. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. I got you. That's why. Okay, I didn't know. I wasn't them, sure. Them man. little, them sure. little bath and body works and daddy and sweat smelling. You stupid. You stupid. <laughs> I don't know All right. Another thing that well, one other thing I definitely wanted to just say this. I thought it was funny that if women don't know this, we YouTube everything. So mm-hmm. when Lawrence went to YouTube fixing the sink, absolutely, that's what everybody's. Sh- and if you don't do that as a man, if, you trip. Listen, if you if you're not a, if if you're not a graduate or a doctor or a master's in YouTube University, I don't know how you live in life. I don't fix I, I don't fix my washer and dryer off YouTube University. But I don't the it. thing about he had when that, when the man came on, we about to bust something up. I would have went to somebody. Else. Oh yeah, that, that was yeah yeah that was gay point. <laughs> I was about to. 
That was about to get real nasty. Though. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, we got to bust the part. I don't know how long. I honestly was watching it like, is Lawrence kind of sweet? Because <laughs> he, like, I was because he showed steady like that while I was. He, he, and he watched it. Yeah, he, he gave no. He gave him. I'm interested, in Abra. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. I learned how to sew online. No, I mm-hmm. learned how to do so many things just using. Just well, I mean, I learned from a person, but I learned the how to do other things. Yeah. You know, like. It's like just kind of watching watching YouTube, uh, man, changing lights yeah. on your car, everything. all kind of stuff, bro. That everything. So that's on brand. If you don't know that, women, that's um that's a life hack right there. Hey, look, episode three is in the books of Men's Secure, bye, bye, man. Look, bye. I'm uh, we excited. It's almost like it's ha- it's the season is is gearing up. So oh, yeah. can't wait till next week to check out the next episode and all that good stuff. So look, as usual, and we gotta find Toyota, man. Got to find Toyota. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Per usual, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Making the best for the weekend. Bye. And we out. Brrr.